We uh, are the provider of Ultra X Tex. It's a hydrophilic absorbent material that we use in a lot of our stormwater products. Um, it's also being uh, um, sought after for use in the Gulf oil spill. And um, it has some properties and benefits and unique features that are different uh, from a traditional polypropylene absorbent like you see here. And because of the questions that have been asked, we thought we'd do a quick demonstration to highlight the differences between the two materials. I'm going to take some used motor oil and put it in this uh, bucket that's got about two and a half gallons of water in it. We're using used motor oil because of the dark color. It's going to be easier to see during this um, experiment. As you can see, that's a pretty nasty mess of motor oil there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pour this onto the, um, onto the polypropylene here, and then I'm going to collect uh, the sample of the water coming out in this jar so you can see the results. One thing you're going to notice right away is the water is just sitting there. Uh, some of the oil is splattered, it says absorbed into the fabric, it's great, but now there's oil on top of this water and because polypropylene is hydrophobic, meaning it is uh, resistant to water, that it, it repels the water and doesn't allow the water that's sitting there to go through it. Therefore, it's going to take uh, an enormous amount of time and effort to get that water to, uh, that oil that's in that water to become saturated with and, and absorbed into the polypropylene. Yet this has been the traditional fabric that's been used on um, any oil collection spill type process for years. Um, the uh, X-Tex that we speak of, and we're going to show you the, the demonstration in a second, is completely different from the standpoint that it's hydrophilic. It allows the water to readily pass through it. It'll absorb water molecules but it has an affinity for oil, so it has, if it has an option of holding a water molecule and picking up a oil molecule, it'll release the water molecule and hold the oil molecule. So it makes this very, very um, effective material for filtering and for absorbing oil very quickly. As you can see, we've been talking for a few uh, minutes here. Not much is happening. In fact, we can leave this here for quite a while, and that's just going to remain there with the oil mixed in with the water, and it's just going to remain um, saturated. Uh, without any uh, movement of that water down into this um, pan below. So we can get nothing out of here and you haven't really addressed the problem significant, in any significant way underneath here. So we'll remove this and come back and out of the same bucket, pour the material in for the X-Tex. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of this oil, oily water in, into the X-Tex and you'll see the difference in how fast it goes through. As you can see, clean water. It just took seconds for the water to go through that X-Tex. The difference between hydrophobic polypropylene, hydrophilic X-Tex that has the unique features that allow it to, to um, with an affinity for oil versus the water. Now let's take a look at the amount of oil that was trapped by that. And you can see, you can see on this side where there's water molecules are still being held, and you can see on this side where the oil has been trapped. So it immediately trapped the oil. Water that went through is still evident on this side. Now eventually, if you continue to pour more oil on there, that would get to a point of saturation with all oil. The um, X-Tex also has properties that give it about four times the saturation ability than pipropylene there's a breakthrough on any kind of material once it fully saturates, but tests have shown that this will um, uh, have four times greater saturation resistance than polypropylene. So um, when it comes to uh, applications for absorbing oil and for 
filtering oil, more importantly, because as a filter, this is being considered to be used as silt fence along coastlines to protect against the oil spill, to allow the, the tide to come in, let the water pass through, pull the oil off, and have the tide go back out. Another ability we have to do with this material is infuse it with microbes, oil-eating microbes that will digest the um, oil and hydrocarbon molecules and break them down into non-hazardous substances which um, basically remediate, bioremediate the oil while it's in the fabric, while it's in the water, while it's on the beach. And this, is a, this combination of technologies has not been used before, but it's something that can be very effective in treating oil applications. Um, one final thought on the demonstration that we've done here today to show the differences between Xtex and uh, standard uh, polypropylene absorbent and also its ability to filter and absorb oil quickly. Um, but also how efficiently it doesn't. Um, the oil that you saw here was this nasty black used motor oil. We poured it through the X-Tex seconds later. This is what came out. And to show you just how pure it is. <sighs> Good stuff. I'm going to give the bottled water company a run for its money. So um, I hope this shows you just how effective the X-Tex is. We appreciate your interest. Please uh, check us out on spillcontainment.com. Thank you.